Here's a problem from one of the Edexcel practice sets. It says the diagram shows the prism ABCDEF with the cross section triangle ABC. Angle BC equals 40 degrees and angle ACB is obtuse. AC equals 6 centimeters and CE equals 13 centimeters. The area of triangle ABC is 22 centimeters squared. Calculate the length of AB. Give your answer correct to one decimal place. Pause the video now if you'd like to give this problem a go yourself. Okay, so firstly, we want to write in these measurements because they haven't been drawn, uh, written on the diagram already. So the first thing would be to, well, AC is six centimeters, CE is 13 centimeters. So let's draw in CE, that's here. That is 13 centimeters. And the angle BEC is in here. So you have to think three dimensionally here. This is like a triangular prism this is a line going across one of its faces and this angle in here is 40 degrees and we are looking for this length a b so let's label that x all right how can we go about finding that length well one way we could find that length is if we knew this angle and we knew this length c b we could use the cosine rule so is there a way we could find c b and that angle uh, to find x well we can find c b using this triangle this is a right triangle because these uh, lines would meet at 90 degrees because this is a prism so we can use one of the trigonometric ratios to find CB so let's go ahead and do that first well if we've got this angle we're looking for the opposite side and we have the hypotenuse we can use the sine ratio so the sine of 40 degrees would equal the opposite side which is CB divided by the hypotenuse which is 13 so then CB equals 13 times the sine of 40. Let's go ahead and calculate that. So 13 times the sine of 40, I get 8.356 and so on. Okay, so we have this length CB, 8.356. And now we want this angle. So how can we find that angle? One way is to use the sine rule for the area of a triangle, which says the area is equal to half a b sine c, a b being the sides adjacent to the angle and angle c being the angle in between them. So we also know that the area of this triangle, so that's going to allow us to solve for the angle. So we can say half of one adjacent side which is 6 times the other adjacent side which is the answer we just got 8.356 multiplied by sine c the angle in between them equals the area of that triangle which is given in the question as 22 okay so then we can solve this equation for c so arranging this we could multiply this side by 2 because we've got this half over here so this would be 44, 22 times two. And then if we divide both sides by six times 8.356, uh, we would have 44 divided by eight, uh, six times 8.356 on the right-hand side. And now to find C, we can take the inverse sign of that. So the inverse sign of 44 on six times 8.356. Okay, so let's go ahead and calculate that then. And here we can use the answer key on our calculator, save us entering that whole number or figure. So inverse sine of this, and I get 61.3527 and so on. So C equals 61.3527. But remember, they tell us that ABC, sorry, the angle ACB is obtuse. This is not an obtuse angle. So here you need to remember that uh, when you calculate the inverse sine of something, you actually get two positive answers between 0 and 180. Um, so we can calculate the other angle by subtracting this number from 180, and that will give us the other value of C. So let's do 180, subtract 61.3527, and we will get our angle ACB. So 180 subtract that answer and I get 118.647 and that is that angle we we're looking for okay now we have this angle approximately 
118.6. Now we can use the cosine rule to find x. So the cosine rule says a squared equals b squared plus c squared. Subtract 2bc cosine a. So a in this case is ab, this length. So ab squared equals 6 squared, this length, uh, plus c squared, the other adjacent length to the angle. So 8.356 squared, subtract 2 times those lengths. And this is multiplied by the cosine of a, which is the angle we just found. So cosine of 118.647. So now let's go ahead and calculate that. Lots of uh, calculator work in this question. So 6 squared plus um, 8.356. I should probably use more decimal places for that number. Oh, and I still have the number on my calculator. So let's go ahead and use a few more. Six decimal places should be enough. And then we have subtract 2 times 6 times that number again multiplied by the cosine of our previous answer. Using the answer key there to save time, and I get 153.9, remember that's AB squared, so we need to take the square root of that to find our length. So the square root is 12.405, but to one decimal place it's going to be 12.4. So AB, round it off, to one decimal place is 12.4, uh, centimeters and that's your final answer there for that question uh, so the tricky part of that question was firstly recognizing the strategy and then um, you know finding the other solution for the angle finding the obtuse uh, solution for that angle okay and that was a six mark question by the way on to the question I posted yesterday on my channel ABC is a right triangle AB equals 2 AC equals A a root 3 is greater than 2, show that the angle ABC is greater than 30. Now someone posted an answer to this involving using a calculator, so I'll go ahead and show you how you could solve this without a calculator. Um, so the first thing you can say is assume this angle is 30 degrees. So assume angle ABC is 30 degrees. ABC equals 30 degrees. Um, that means these two sides will be in the ratio 1 to root 3. Uh, that's something you should know about the angle 30 because you need to know your absolute values for the trig functions. For example, the tangent of 30, which is opposite over adjacent, you should know is 1 over root 3. Um, that means these sides are in the ratio 1 to root 3. Uh, so given that, assuming this is 30, that means the ratio of these sides, a to 2, equals the ratio 1 to root 3. And now you can uh, write these as fractions and uh, you know make a the subject so this will be a equals to 2 on root 3. But this inequality tells us, so let's write that down, a root 3 is greater than 2. If you divide both sides by root 3 this means a is greater than 2 on root 3. Um, so if the angle is 30 a will equal 2 on root 3, but we're told A is greater than 2 on root 3, therefore the angle must be greater than 30. So that is how you could solve this without a calculator. Um, so just to finish off then, we could say therefore uh, angle ABC is greater than 30. And that would be enough for uh, answering that question. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye for now.